Now, I want to get into scenes and layouts, which is another exciting part of Descript. We covered this briefly in the beginning, but to remind you, on the left-hand side, we have a scene list here. We currently have one scene. And in our transcript, a scene is marked with a slash. To create a new scene, let's find a natural gap between our paragraphs. I'll click into the end of the paragraph here. And then just like in a Google Doc, I'll press enter on my keyboard. And then I'll type a slash. On the left-hand side, you'll see a new scene appear. If we want to change the layout of this scene, let's go to the right-hand side and click on Scene. And then under Scene Layout, let's click on See More Layouts. Now we have a ton of different options to choose from. Descript provides you with a default gallery here. You can see they have one for a screen recording, a zoom on the speaker, a slightly different screen recording layout in more of a portrait format. And if you don't like any of the default layouts, you can click the back button here next to Descript. And you have different layout packs to choose from. Again, there are so many of these. And you can even create your own layout pack based on your brand's fonts, colors, logos, and typical scenes you like to use. I'll scroll up and click on the Berlin Carrot Dark layout pack. And then I'll go for this screen recording here that puts me in the left-hand side as a small circle. Let's click on this. And it has now applied the layout to our second scene. Here in the preview panel, you can see that we have a transparent background and me in the corner with the green screen effect applied in a circle cutout. To change the transparent media, let's click into it here and then click on add media. You can add from your computer, your project files, and similar to before, you can even record within Descript. In my case, I'll click on Add from Computer, and I have a demo screen recording I want to apply to the background. I'll double click on that to open, and it will upload into my project. Now, in my transcript, I want to go a little bit into my first scene so I can see the transition between scene one and scene two. I'll click right here, and now let's click play and save you so much time. And that's why I'm so excited to share everything I've learned about Descript. In this video, I'll break down everything I've learned and how it'll save you time on your next video editing project. As you can see, there's a natural transition between our scenes. If we want to change the transitions here on the scene tab with it still open, you can see that we can change our in and our out transitions. For example, I can go from smart transition to a blur. And just like before, I'll go back into our first scene and click play and save you so much time. And that's why I'm so excited to share. There you can see that there was a blur transition between our first and second scene. You're also free to change your layout at any time. I'll go back up here and click on see more layouts. And I can change it to this more portrait screen recording format simply by clicking on it. Go back into my first scene, then click on play and save you so much time. And that's why I'm so excited to share everything I've learned about Descript. As you can see, I was able to completely transform the layout of my video, and it took hardly any time at all.